Uh, joining me live now from London is the Democratic Republic of Congo's ambassador to the UK, Barnabe Kikia Ben Karubi. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for your time. And I'm sorry to put such a fine point on it as my first question, but I have to. You have right now uh, Congolese troops abandoning their posts in the north. How do you explain the fact that your army hasn't been able to put down this rebellion and protect your people? Well, from the beginning, our government has said that we would rather give peace a chance. And this is why we have not been fighting in those remote villages that the so-called rebellion has been taking. Right now, we're talking to the United Nations. We are talking in Addis Ababa. We're trying to give peace a chance to resolve what's happening in eastern Congo peacefully rather than militarily. Are you suggesting that the, the troops who have been abandoning their post have been told to do so uh, in line with giving peace a chance? No, what one has to understand is that the accord, the peace agreement that we signed in yes. the past with the previous uh, rebel movements, actually the people call themselves today M23, are all from a CNDP mm -hmm. uh, rebels. They are the ones who have been controlling that area. Uh, General Bosco Taganda, who is wanted uh, in The Hague uh, for crimes against humanity committed in Eastern Congo, has been commanding these troops. So it's his men who were holding these positions in, in the first place. So they mutinied from uh, the National Army to occupy these villages and claim that uh, now they are a rebellion of M23. But let me remind you that a few weeks ago, not a few days ago, the United Nations group of experts came up with a report saying that there is no rebellion in Eastern Congo. It's rather Rwanda which has attacked the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, rather than focus on M23, let's talk about CNDP, which was integrated in the political system and in the army, and also on Rwanda, which has been accused beyond any doubt by the United Nations, but also by international uh, non-governmental organizations like Human Rights Watch of having invaded the Congo. So, so, Mr. Ambassador, do you have any independent evidence, not what human, uh, not what the UN is reporting, not what Human Rights well, Watch well, is reporting? Do you have any independent information uh, that Rwanda is, in fact, supporting the M23 rebels? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, since 1998, when the, uh, the RCD rebellion was created, we did say the same thing, but Rwanda denied. It was under the pressure of the international community that they accepted that they were in Congo. Today, it's exactly the same scenario. We have uh, the evidence, we can prove it, but today we have been joined by the United Nations, by all these non-governmental organizations who have been who are operating in the area for the past 10 years, who say that it is Rwanda. We are trying to give peace a chance. We are talking, as we, as we are speaking in Addis Ababa, our ministers of foreign affairs and the ministers of defense of the whole region are meeting under the leadership of Uganda to try to resolve the matter peacefully. All right, you have uh, mentioned you've got evidence. Uh, I would remind you we have a reporter on the ground there right now who would love to see that, that evidence. Uh, and, and I hope that someone in your office, someone in the government would make that information available. Uh, your defense minister has issued an arrest warrant for a former DRC National Army General Bosco and Taganda. You mentioned him earlier. He has been a wanted man by the International Criminal Court for years now, and yet, he was a senior member of the military. Will he now be arrested now that he is fighting against the government? May I remind you that the whole saga today started with our troops moving in to arrest Mr. Bosco Taganda, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court in The Hague. That's how the whole thing started. Now, if we see him, we will definitely arrest him and take him to The Hague. And that's the position of the Congolese government. Okay. A uh, last one for you, Mr. Ambassador. Will your army fight to defend Goma? Absolutely. Our army in is in position in Goma. 
will, Goma will never fall into the hands of a foreign army. Uh, we'll defend Goma. And as a matter of fact, I've, I've seen your report, uh, the United Nations, MONUSCO, the whole international community is behind the Democratic Republic of Congo on this one. Uh, Mr. Ben Karubi, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. My, my pleasure.